Hello friends, welcome back. Today's topic is very important because today we are going to understand some of the statistical softwares. The selection of the statistical software is very important if you are the working individuals because in day to day life we are going to use various statistical tools to solve our day to day life problems. In that case, we must have a very good statistical software with us so that we can solve these problems very effectively and we can have the meaningful conclusions from it. As usual, let's start with the why first. Why do we need the statistical softwares? Statistical softwares are required to significantly reduce the time for analysis. As you are aware about it, that our day to day life is gathered with more and more data. And if you draw the some meaningful conclusions from this data by doing the very perfect analysis, we require the statistical softwares. Statistical software is also required to practice the knowledge you have gained. For example, if you go for the Lean Six Sigma certification, what is the practical problem that every individual is facing that is availability of the statistical software. If you are not having the statistical software, then you are not practicing the knowledge that you have gained. And if you are not going to practice it, after some time, it is going to be forgotten. So that's why it is very, very important for you as an individual, you must have the statistical software along with you so that you can practice the knowledge what you have gained. One more important point is, if you are having the statistical software, you are continuously using that statistical software to analyze the data and thereby there is a continuous improvement in your knowledge. So as a working professional, having the statistical software with you encourages or enhances your potential many times. After understanding why statistical software is very important for every individual, in this video, I am going to explain four statistical softwares. So let's see them one by one. The first statistical software which I am going to explain that is a Microsoft Excel and each of these statistical tools which I am going to explain that is going through the logical sequence that I am going to explain what is the capacity of that particular software with respect to the basic statistics, graphical analysis, advanced statistics, graphs and reports if you want to project it, what is the price of that particular software and how the performance of the software from the ease of application. I am also going to explain whether this software is a desktop based or a cloud based. So let's understand first about the Microsoft Excel. If we talk about the features that Microsoft Excel is having regarding the basic statistics, we can perform some of the basic statistics in Microsoft Excel. For example, we can perform the correlation and linear regression, covariance, descriptive statistics and histogram and we can also perform some of the hypothesis tests. For example, t-test, z-test and ANOVA that we can perform into Microsoft Excel. If you talk about the graphical analysis, then Microsoft Excel is also having multiple graph options. For example, we can draw the bar graph and line graph. We can plot the scatter plot, histogram, parameter chart, run chart, box plot. And there are many other options of the graphs which are available into the Microsoft Excel. Though they are limited, we can perform the basic statistics and basic graphical analysis by using the Microsoft Excel. If you talk about the advanced statistics, there are limitations to the Microsoft Excel and it is not possible to perform the advanced statistics without adding software. If we talk about the graphs and reports, it is very easy to copy the graph from the Microsoft Excel to your reports. But as I already explained, the Microsoft Excel is having very limited options for the graphs. If you're going into the detail of price of this Microsoft Excel, it is having dual versions. One is called as Microsoft 365 which is having the rupees of 4,899 per year with all the free upgrades and it is equivalent to 65 USD. And if you go for the one-time purchase of the Office 2019, then it is costing you around 9,199 rupees for lifetime, but with no upgrades. This is equivalent to 123 USD. If you talk about Microsoft Excel about the use of views, this is the easiest statistical software, but Statistical knowledge is required to understand the interpretation because this is because if you perform the basic statistics and analysis in Microsoft Excel, you are only getting the values and graphs and you must have the statistical knowledge to interpret the results from it. This Microsoft Excel is having the both the version for the desktop as well as mobile. This is the basic and very preliminary statistical softwares that everyone should have. If you want to see it in details, we can see if you go to the insert tab in Microsoft Excel, we can see there are various graphical options are available. For example, we can see 
there is a histogram and parameter chart is available. We can also plot the box and whisker plot into Microsoft Excel. In addition to that, there are various chart options are available that you can see into the insert chart option. If you want to use Microsoft Excel for the basic statistics, then you can use the option of data tab. Go to the data and there is option data analysis. If you go into the data analysis, you can see there are multiple options are available to perform the basic statistic calculations. For example, you can see ANOVA is there, single factor, two factor, with and without replication. We can also see the correlation, covariance, histogram, linear regression, sampling, and some of the hypothesis tests like t-test, pair to sample for means, equal variance, unequal variances, and z-test. So these are the some of the tools or some of the basic statistics we can perform into the Microsoft Excel. The one important thing is that in our trainings of Lean Six Sigma Green Belt and Black Belt, we are also explaining all the capabilities of the Excel. That means what are the possibilities of the Excel that we can perform the statistical calculations. We are demonstrating all that with the help of practical examples. So after understanding the first basic statistical software of Microsoft Excel, let's go to the second software, which is a Minitab. If we talk about the basic statistics, graphical analysis and advanced statistics, as far as the Minitab is concerned, this performs everything and it is having the multiple options. So this is the best statistical software to perform all the basic statistics, advanced statistics, as well as graphical analysis. If we talk about the graphs and reports, it creates a very beautiful graphs and analysis report which are very easy to interpret. If you want to export the graphs and analysis from the Minitab to the PowerPoint or Microsoft Excel, it is very, very easy. Now, if you talk about the price, this is a critical point for Minitab. The Minitab is having the two options. The first one is subscription model. The subscription model is having rupees 1,20,000 per year with all the free upgrades. So that is equivalent to 1610 USD. And another is a lifetime license which cost you around Indian rupees 2,22,000 for the lifetime, but with no upgrades. And it is equivalent to 2,970 USD. If we talk about the use of use for the Minitab, it is easy to use, but you require the training to understand various options in it because Minitab consists of too many options. And if you want to understand all the options, you require a very dedicated training of the Minitab. But Minitab is having the very detailed help menu with the help of which you can understand the interpretation of the results. Minitab is having both the version for the desktop as well as cloud-based. So you can access your data from the desktop as well as from the internet. One more important feature of the Minitab, it is having the free trial of 30 days. So you can use the Minitab for 30 days and you can understand this software, whether it is applicable for you or not. This is the best statistical software which is available in the market. If you look at the Minitab, we can see it is having the detailed statistical menu which consists of the basic statistics, regression, ANOVA, DOE, control chart, all the quality tools, reliability and survival, multivariate, time series, tables, non-parametric test, equivalent test, power and sample size, and everything. If you go into the graphical, it is again having the, all the graphical tools which is required for the statistical analysis, like scatter plot, matrix plot, bubble plot, histogram, box plot, bar graph, time and series plot, and all that. And the most important advantage which I talk about the Minitab, it is having the very detailed help menu. So if you go to the stat guide, you will get all the details which are required to interpret the results which is coming after the analysis of it. So it is a very, very important feature of the Minitab. Till the time, we had seen two statistical softwares and there can be thought in your mind, okay, one statistical software which is a very basic and which is having the lowest cost. But if you go for the advanced statistical software, which is a perfect one, which is having a very high cost. So do we have a, some intermediate software between them? The answer is yes. And here I'm going to explain that statistical software. This is a Sigma Excel. Let's understand the Sigma Excel on the same comparison points for which we have compared the Microsoft Excel and Minitab. If we talk about the capabilities of the Sigma Excel for the basic statistics, graphical analysis, advanced statistics, it performs everything with the multiple options, but lesser than Minitab. So it is much, much better than the Excel, but lower than the Minitab. If you talk about the graphs and reports, again, it is creating very beautiful graphs and also giving the very good graphical analysis. You can also copy these graphs and reports into the Microsoft Excel as well as into the PowerPoint to present the projects. 
If you talk about the price point of the Sigma XL, it is having the highest competitive advantage because for the lifetime license, you need to only pay 22,500 Indian rupees. That is equivalent to 299 USD. And with this, you will also having the one year free upgrades for the software. If you talk about the ease of use, it is very easy to use statistical software because it is Excel adding software. And similar to Minitab, it is also having the very detailed help menu to understand the interpretation of all the results. If you talk about the more benefits of the Sigma Excel, in addition to the Excel and Minitab, it is having some of the additional benefits. That is, it is having all the lean tools and templates which you require to perform. So it is a combination of both lean as well as Sigma Excel. So this is one of the very rarest software which is having the combination of both lean as well as statistical analysis. It is a desktop based software and it is also having the free trial for 30 days similar to that of the Minitab. So we can see this is again one of the best statistical software option if you are looking for it. If you want to see it in detail, you can see here, this is an Excel adding software. If you go to the Sigma Excel, it is having the multiple templates for the lean tools as well as for the other statistical tools. If you go to the graphical tools, we can see various graphical tools we can perform. For example, basic Pareto chart, advanced Pareto chart, histogram, dot plot, box plot, multiple X plots, run chart, multivari charts, scatter plots. So we can perform all the graphical tools here. If you go to the statistical tools menu, we can see there are multiple options are available to perform the hypothesis test, like one sample t-test, pair t-test, two sample t-test, ANOVA, chi-square test, regression, we can perform all of them. We can also perform the non-parametric test, power and sample size calculation and everything into the Sigma Excel. There is a separate tab for the measurement analysis if you want to perform for the continuous data, for the attribute data, for the process capability also there is a dedicated menu and we can also perform the capability analysis for the continuous data as well as for the attribute data. There is an also option to perform the design of experiment including full factorial as well as fractional factorial. You can also perform all types of control chart into the control chart tabs. We can also perform the reliability and viable analysis which is an integral part of this Sigma Excel. We can also perform the time series forecasting and all that. If you want to modify the tools then also there is a dedicated option for Sigma Excel chart tools. So we can see it is having all the features from the minute app but the cost is very very low. Now let's go to the fourth software which I am using and which is a data tab. Again, if we consider the same metrics like basic statistics, graphical analysis and advanced statistics, it performs more than Excel, but it is having the low capabilities compared to the Sigma Excel and Minitab. So if you are looking for the software, which is more than Excel, we can go for the data tab. If we talk about the graphs and reports, it is also creating very beautiful graphs, which are very easy to analyze and interpret. And you can also easily copy that graphs and analysis into the Microsoft Word as well as Microsoft PowerPoint for presenting your project. If we talk about the price, it is having multiple options for the one week subscription, one month, three month and 12 month subscription. The one week subscription cost you around rupees 800 per week. So which is equivalent to 11 USD per week. You can also go for the one month subscription, which is costing you around 1675 Indian rupees. That is equivalent to 23 USD. If you want, you can go for the three month subscription, which is costing you around 2560 for three months, which is equivalent to 34 USD. And you can also go for yearly subscription, which cost you around 6,100 rupees, which is equivalent to 82 USD per year. After understanding the price point and all the capabilities of the data tab, let's understand how this data tab is with ease of use. It is again very easy to use and the one important thing is that it is having auto selection of tools for analysis based on your data. So if you insert data into the data tab, it is providing you the multiple options based on the data. And there is also one more additional benefit for the data tab. And that is, it is having the video under each tools to understand the concepts. And this data tab is only available as a cloud based software. We can see here, the data tab window will be like this. You can copy and enter all your data here that is similar to the Excel worksheet. And if you once put the entire data here, we can see there, there are multiple options like descriptive statistics, charts, t-test, then correlation, regression, moderation, principal component analysis, reliability, cluster. If you want to perform other tools like process capability, measurement system analysis, so that are also available into the data tab. The main feature of the data tab is, for example, if you are going for the regression, 
if you click on the regression, it is providing you the option for selection. For example, you can select here what are the dependent variables and you can also select what are the independent variables. If we select, let's say, one of the dependent variable and one of the independent variable, then we can see the, all the details you will be getting here. It can perform the logistic regression, number of iterations, what will be the results you will be getting. And at the end of it, it is also having the very beautiful YouTube video to understand all the interpretation of the results. So these are the four statistical softwares which I'm using on daily basis. Now, if you are confused about which statistical software is best for you, let's go into the conclusion of it. If you require only limited and basic tools as well as graphs, Let's go for the Excel because it is a very easy to use as well as having the lowest cost. Go for the Sigma Excel if you require all the basics as well as advanced statistical tools to be performed along with graphical analysis. If you also want to be with the simplicity of the Excel, Sigma Excel is the best option. If you require some of the lean tools and templates, again Sigma Excel is a very good option. If you are ready to invest some more than the Microsoft Excel and want to get all the features of basic statistics, advanced statistics, graphical analysis, then Sigma Excel is the best option for you. And of course, if you are going for the one-time purchase, go for the Sigma Excel. I will also suggest go for the Minute app because it is the best statistical software among all the statistical software which I have explained as well as all the other options available in the market, but it is costlier. So if money is not a concern for you, then directly go for the Minute app. And the fourth statistical software, which is a data tab. If you are looking for the cloud-based statistical software, which is having the capability of auto selection of the tools based on data, then go for the data tab. This is the best statistical software in that case. It is having the more options than Excel, but it is having the lesser options compared to the Sigma Excel and Minitab. This is all about some of the basic and advanced statistical softwares. Now, depending on your need, Please select the best statistical software for you out of this. For all these statistical softwares, I am going to provide the link into the description. If you want to use this statistical software for 30 days, then I am also going to provide the link for these free trials into the description section. At the end of this video, if you have found this information useful, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.